Hey, Dr. Ashley here. So we had a little bit of a flub up last week with some shipment of probiotic, but I found a really cool experiment to figure out if they were um, still viable because good quality probiotics, as you know, or as you should know, need to be refrigerated since they are living bacteria. So while they're okay for a little bit to be delivered if it's too hot or if they don't get there in time, that can cause an issue and basically kill them. So what we did to test was a little experiment, which I'll show you. So here's how this experiment went. So I had two clean, sterile um, glass containers that I used. I had a full um, can of uh, full-fat coconut milk. You could use, you know, soy milk or other kinds of milk that works as well, from my understanding. Split them evenly, even though they're different kinds of containers, um, into the container. And the one on the left here, there's just coconut milk in it, nothing else. And then one on the right, we took the capsule of the probiotic um, and dumped the powder into the, uh, the milk and then kind of mixed it up. So I put this in last night, um, probably around seven or so. So it's been about, I don't know, good 18 hours, uh, and then just covered it. So no other outside bacteria could get in. So to test, we see, so the one on the left is kind of our control. So, um, it's kind of hard to tell in video, but it, I mean, getting up close, if you had smell a vision, <laughs> It smells like coconut milk, like it doesn't smell, you know, fermented at all or anything else that's going on. The one on the right here that we added the probiotic to, you can kind of see some things starting to form. Uh, it's a little bit hard, more on the side, you can see a little bit possibly, but the real test to me is when you smell it, it starts to smell like yogurt. So that shows that um, the probiotics that we did put in, those bacteria are still alive and they're still viable. So we didn't lose our product, which is fantastic, but this is a great at-home experiment that you can use to see um, and even make your own yogurt.